Is it? Main. Welcome back to another Southern Haze NZ adventure. Out again with a good mate, and we're heading out for a dive to find some power. Uh, we've been sitting back for the last 10 days just watching the weather and waiting for the right opportunity being battered by the strong westerly winds and rain and all those good things that our autumn brings but anyway we've got a gap and the viz isn't amazing as you can see but it's definitely doable nice calm seas so we're into it On a side note, I'm sure you notice my sweet yellow socks, jumping fun socks, most parents will recognise uh, because I poked my toes through all of my booties and that was the only option. Just warming up here, having a good look around, exploring this new terrain. It's all new to both of us. We've never dived here before, so didn't know what to expect, but it's it's nice terrain, don't expect to see too many crayfish, not real bouldery, but you never know. So we're always going to be looking, looking under the rocks and trying to find deep caves and holes that they might be hiding in. Crayfish are in healthy numbers down in the deep south, so it's not uncommon to find them in unlikely spots, so it definitely pays to just look everywhere. Nothing. That was not really like nice big holes, eh? The boulders are nearly sitting on the ground. Should we tuck around the corner here just for a nosy? Under here was probably about 10 crayfish, all well and truly under legal size. 
Mate dropping down here too to have a look, but same thing, we just found babies. Which was awesome to see, just means it's healthy. And it is the time of year where the big bucks and the ladies have headed out a bit deeper. Heaps of weed fellas. That yeah, was cool. Hey? Yeah. So we just continue on exploring. Uh, at this stage, my ear was actually starting to get really bad, my left ear. I sort of felt it at the start of the dive and pushed through it, but as the dive went on, it just got worse. Oh, I couldn't pop it, equalize it. It was just getting more and more uncomfortable. Couldn't stay on the bottom for any longer than, well, it felt like 10 seconds and I was back up again. even in the shallows just here not able to get down to where I usually can can't stay down and realize it's time to bite the bullet quick chat with my dive mate let him know what's happening Can't stay down for like any more than fucking 10 seconds. Blow your nose and show I have. I've yeah. been doing it all of it. Yeah. Just uh, fucking one, my left one's just like a rock. Uh, there's big butters right here. Yeah, I see that. Not to worry, there's plenty more dives to come. So head in, grab some power, and get out. Unfortunately, don't actually get to see me gathering the power because my camera was pointing up to the sky. And the last, but sometimes the most important job and the most difficult job, finding a safe way out. Sometimes when you hop in, the way you hopped in is not the same way you can get out. Things change as the tide changes and it pays just to sit back, watch what the swell's doing, watch what the wave's doing. Time your exit so you don't get thrown along the rocks. And you see here, I'm just watching the waves, watching how they're hitting the rocks, where they're hitting the rocks, and trying to find a safe way out. Today is not such a difficult day. This little wee sheltered bay is pretty simple to get in and out, even though there is a bit of current. It's just a matter of being patient.
Job done. Well, even though my ears did give me trouble, it was still a really good dive. Cool to explore some new terrain and good to be out with another mate again. Great to get a, a good feed of power. And then I got to sit back and watch the scenery, watch the boats, explore the rocks while my mate enjoyed diving for another half an hour, 40 minutes. Just can't beat bare feet on the rocks by the ocean. Something about it resets the body, the mind, the soul, grounds you, humbles you, can't get enough. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep an eye out for the next video coming up. Most likely to be a hunting video with the busy hunting season approaching down here in the deep south. The raw, duck shooting, it's all go. Please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Comment whatever you think, any feedback. Um, any tips, tricks, I love learning and love talking with like-minded people, so don't be shy. Cheers, have a great day.